Aji, how is the industry embracing AI RAN? Yeah. See, AI RAN is one of the hottest topics of the industry. And we have seen a dramatic shift in the industry over the last few years. Not only just the CSPs or operators are becoming more and more AI interested, mm -hmm. but at the same time, AI companies are interested more into the telco segment. And Nokia has been working with the many of our partners and industry players and operators to really demonstrate what we can do with AI RAN. And when AI RAN Alliance was launched last year, 12 months ago, Nokia was one of the founding members. Mm -hmm. And now you can see there are 75 members in this alliance, which shows that how the industry is embracing this technology. What are the key benefits of this technology? Yeah, so AI Iran has the potential to offer multifold benefits, spanning across, you know, getting into the network efficiency, network performance improvements, or if you look at the monetization benefit, creating a new revenue opportunities for the operators. And if you look at the multi-cloud infrastructure, you know, that offers edge artificial intelligence inferencing, which offers to the enterprises or other players to offer the AI capabilities. So AI RAN is focused on delivering uh, better value for CSPs, but what does that value transformation meet, mean for them in a business sense? Yeah. See, if you look at the AI RAN as the three different working groups perspective because AI forum, it's about network efficiency and performance. That means you get a better, better spectral efficiency for network and increase the automation, increase the autonomous operations, etc. That's one part of it. And the other part of it is, depending on the kind of use cases that you can build on top of edge, so that multi-cloud infrastructure, we are working with the T-Mobile, SoftBank, KDDI, to explore all these different aspects of it. Multi-cloud infrastructure, technical economics, and how the network efficiency can be improved, how the power efficiency can be improved, and all of these are part of our exploration and the study that we are doing together with the partners and operators. It's all really exciting, obviously. What's the biggest challenge for your customers in deploying AI RAN, and how is Nokia helping them with that? Yeah, so of course, it comes with opportunities as well as challenges, right? And I think the one of the most important aspects is about techno-economics. That means, how would it make sense to deploy uh, infrastructure at the edge which is capable of AI workloads running and at the same time run workloads running. That means it is something which we need to evaluate based on where would it make sense, which part of the network, whether it is towards the cell side, towards the centralized data centers. So this techno economics needs to work. And correspondingly, the right solutions that we need to build to match with the techno economics. So this IAC does a, one of the challenges that we need to overcome over the next months, years, you know, to really make it more successful.